Hello everyone, Dave here again. Today I'm going to be opening up the Star Trek Adventures uh, starter set. This is uh, for the Star Trek Adventures role-playing game and uh, I know almost nothing uh, about this particular system uh, but I got it on sale and it was something that I've been contemplating picking up for a little while now and um, I've been a fan of Star Trek ever since I first started watching The Next Generation and uh, Deep Space Nine, which is one of the, the greatest shows I think that's ever been on TV and uh, kind of got away from it with Voyager and stuff like that. But anyway, uh, this is the, like I said, the starter set for the RPG. And uh, so I'll be opening it up, taking a look, sort of flipping through the uh, the books a bit. And eventually I do plan on doing a, uh, a full review once I have a chance to read it and understand how everything works. Uh, this has been put out by uh, Motifis. I'm, I probably pronounced that wrong, but... And apparently it is like a 2d20 system, so it uses two 20-sided die instead of uh, instead of one. And uh, I did watch a brief video on it, and it seems like uh, it's kind of like almost like ability checks in old school Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, where you're trying to get your skill or less. So it'll be interesting to see, I guess, how that works. On the back here, it says Starfleet needs a new crew. Uh, your continuing mission to explore strange new worlds, seek out new life and new civilizations, and to boldly go where no one has gone before. Uh, Star Trek Adventures takes you to the final frontier of the galaxy, where new discoveries await keen explorers. Your duties may take you to the edges of known space, to Federation colonies in need, to the borders of neighboring galactic powers, or into the eye of interstellar phenomena. Uh, your ship and your crew epitomize uh, the best Starfleet in the United Federation of Planets has to offer, and you are needed more than ever. So the starter set contains everything you need to begin your journey to the final frontier, uh, has a starter set uh, rules book, uh, gives you an overview of the uh, 2D20 rules for role playing in Star Trek Adventures, a campaign booklet guides you through the rules as you play, uh, so you can begin exploring the galaxy straight out of the box, uh, six character sheets, provides five player characters and the crew starship uh, for the campaign with rules references on the back. Uh, comes with 2d20 and six um, custom six-sided, or sorry, it contain, yes, contains custom six-sided uh, d6s, so I think there's four of those. Uh, tokens for momentum threatened characters and encounter maps for the campaign. So again, looks pretty cool. Just along the side, that's what the sides of the box look like. Here's some stuff moving around in there. And uh, as I stated, the retail price here in Canada was $40. Um, so that's probably like a $30, $29.99 uh, product in the US. But um, not a bad price anyway. And like I said, I got it 30% uh, off, which is pretty cool. So let's just go ahead and open it up and see what everything looks like. Damage the box. Oh. Or knock the camera over. Oh. All right. The plastic is off. Oh, there we go. So, first thing. Uh, we have our dice, so it is 2d20, and four of these six-sided dice. Looks like they've got two <clears throat> like symbols like this, and then one of those, like the, the Starfleet symbol, and a blank side. And the two 20-sided dice. It also comes in a Ziploc bag instead of just a plastic bag that you have to to uh, to rip open, so I like that actually quite a bit. Basically means that I can <clears throat> just you know carry the dice around in these bags and be able to take them out and look at them and use them and still have them, uh, not have to go into like another uh, dice bag where they may get lost. So I, I like the fact that it's got the Ziploc bag there. That's pretty cool. Then we got our tokens. So looks like we got some monster ones here. Or not monster, but I guess enemies. Looks like Romulans, 
Klingons, some birds, uh, Romulan Warbird. And then we got, looks like Starfleet crew members, uh, Galaxy class starship, which is pretty cool. And then I'm going to assume, I'm gonna go out on a limb here, and assume that these are the threat tokens with the great big word alert on them. And then you just got the uh, United Federation of Planets, their, their logo there. So that's kind of cool. <clears throat> and then we have <clears throat> we have our maps, so let's just take a look at those. And they're actually pretty small. Oop, which is fine. Just makes playing on a smaller table a lot easier. <clears throat> so we have this one here. And then on the other side. Not quite sure exactly what this one for. This might be for like a ship combat sort of thing. We got that one. Then we have other ones that look like they're part of the ship. That looks like the uh, the warp drive, turbo lift. So this is like the engineering section. And another planet side one. So just some pretty cool maps there. Set those aside. <clears throat> and then we have our characters. Let's just do that. So we have our first officer, and it kind of looks like the comp panel or like the panel configurations from like the next generation, which is pretty cool. Uh, attributes we have control, daring, fitness, insight, presence, and reason. <clears throat> And then we have disciplines, command, uh, con, engineering, security, science, and medicine. And then oh, on the back, looks like um, some like the actions you can take during your turns, minor actions and tasks. As I said, I don't really know anything about the. Uh, <clears throat> about this, the system yet, so I, I don't really know what all these mean right yet. Um, oh, and he's actually a Bajoran. I never noticed that, but you can clearly see that there, so that's cool. Then we have our con officer, which is a human. Talon's flight control, bold. Jury rig, uh, precise evasion. It's kind of cool. Then we have. I can tell already without looking at the race thing, but you look at the spots here. So that is a a trill. <coughs> and that is our chief engineer. It looks like they have sort of the um, DS9 era, early era uniforms. Andorian secure chief of security. And we got our medical officer, which is a Vulcan. Oh, it looks like they've all got different uh, things on the back here. Okay. That's kind of cool. Like I said, I'll, I'll read these over and do a more proper review once I understand how everything works. And then we have the USS Magellan, which is a galaxy class ship, which is cool. It's like piloting the Enterprise. So there's phaser array, photon torpedoes, tractor beam. Improved hull integrity, so this is probably after the Dominion War. <clears throat> Improved warp drive, modular laboratories, saucer separation, and redundant systems. So that's pretty cool stuff there. I love the fact that it's a galaxy class ship. Then we've got the starter rules. And it's also <laughs> looks kind of like the, uh, the the panels. Goes over what role playing game is, characters, disciplines, focuses, tasks. So uh, a lot of information to, to take in, but <clears throat> kind of looking forward to, to that. 
combat system. Have all the, uh, the Starfleet phasers. It's pretty decent artwork in here too, actually. Cardassian fighting a trill. Starship rules. <clears throat> Got the old runabout. <clears throat> the Defiant for DS9 fans. Warp Core Breach, which seems to be something that can happen regularly on the show, or at least the threat of one. I wonder if that means that the ejection system will probably end up failing. Anyway. And last page, we can get to it. Cool stuff here. You got the uh, targeting system. Anyway, just very nice presentation, actually. I really like the way that they sort of outlay everything. And then we've got the adventure here. So, like I said, one of my plans was to uh, run this at um, at Halcon. So I'll probably end up um, probably end up splitting it up a little bit because I don't think I'd be able to play like just through the entire adventure. But I should be able to I should be able to uh, to to work something out, make it fit within a four hour time spot. So anyway, just again, really, really cool uh, presentation. You know, I like the way that they make the uh, the books look. I like, you know, really nice artwork in here. And uh, I'm interested to learn the uh, the rules and see sort of how everything goes. Um, overall, I think this might be a, a decently fun system uh, to give a try to. And the, like, so the fact that it was on sale um, made it all that more appealing. To, to pick up so yeah I'm looking forward to sitting down reading this and uh, giving a review maybe an example of, uh, of gameplay so uh, really really cool stuff anyway so that is the, oh, the Star Trek adventure starter set so if anyone's actually played this uh, let me know you know what you thought of it I'd love to hear sort of your uh, thoughts and suggestions on how to how to run the game uh looking forward to to giving this a good read so i just want to thank you guys very much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i will see you next time take care